All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. Today, we're going to be talking about somebody that we've never talked about here on the channel before, that being one of the big three of the kick streaming degenerates, that being Neon. Everyone say hi, Neon. But yeah, pretty much every time I'm on social media, for some reason, this guy pops up. I don't know if it's because of Kick's clip channel or drama alert or whatever, but this guy is literally everywhere, bro. And if I'm honest, I probably would have made a video on him way sooner than I actually did, especially when he was going through that drama with Sam Frank. But the reason I didn't really make a video on him is because I didn't really have anything to say. So I really wasn't going to try to force a video out. But I don't think I've ever wanted somebody off the internet this much, aside from Jack Doherty. Like, I deadass rather watch an hour of tipster than watch neon's content and that's saying something because tipster's actually a weirdo and neon's just straight up annoying as a matter of fact here's a would you rather for those of you who are watching would you rather spend an afternoon with neon and sam frank and get exposed to neon's five-year-old audience or would you rather be in a jail cell for the night with tipster now you see that that's that's a bit of an issue i kind of made this really hard for myself if i'm honest man i might actually have to take my chances with tipster anyways you might have heard that recently neon has been released from prison in Dubai. He was locked up there for, I think, a couple of days, and he just did a comeback stream last night. That's bad, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Yeah, they're saying I look like Sneeko. Oh my god, bro. What's good with y'all boys, man? What's good, what's good, what's good, what's good? Nice to meet you guys, man. Nice to meet you. This is the new improved version of me, man. Feels great, bro. Honestly, it feels great, man. Chad, do I, do you, do you still look at me the same, or do I look a little weird? Be honest. Got a little buff and shit, too, you know? We're looking good, man. We're looking good. We're looking good. Different. Oh my. That's what I was worried about, bro. That's what I was fucking worried about, dude. And look, man, I'm not gonna lie. It looks like this guy aged 18 years from the last time we actually saw him. Absolutely terrible genetics. But I feel like the moment that Neon got arrested, something that rarely happens on the internet, especially on Twitter, which is just a battlefield, actually happened. And that's that the majority of people who witnessed the situation were actually in support of Dubai keeping him. Like, Honestly, I couldn't even tell you how many videos and how many posts I've seen about Neon's downfall and how people were excited to experience it that I saw. Like, it was insane. And look, man, I kind of have to agree. Like I said before, this man is one of the big three of the kick degenerates. He's faked his death numerous times for views. And the one time that he was actually pronounced dead, apparently, on social media, people were actually happy. Of which, by the way, I mean, if you have to, like, fake somebody's death for clicks on Twitter, I mean, that's, that's kind of sad, bro. I'm not going to lie. Get a life. Would I be wrong to say that? streaming as a whole is just in the toilet right now like not only are most streams that i watch just actual garbage which is why i rarely open up twitch or hell i don't even have kick anymore unless i'm getting something out of it i won't open up a stream dude and i feel like this modern era of streaming has only gotten worse with these in real life streams and the in real life streams are only really this bad because of neon and like jack doherty of which i really don't like either i mean you guys know how i feel about them but i genuinely think that the in real life streams where people just go out and mess with other people for views is genuinely something that only little kids would find funny like it's not a joke to mess around with people and try to instigate fights for views and stuff like like that's so lame dude it's, it really is and that just leads me to my next question who the heck made this guy famous? Who who made Neon famous, dude? Is he like an industry plant or something? It genuinely took me all this time to put two and two together and figure out that this guy was the same dude that was faking his death for views all those years ago. I, I was like, I had an epiphany. It's crazy too because I heard about him faking his death before and I just never really noticed that this was the same guy. He kind of did look like the same guy to me, but it it's just, it was up after that, bro. Like I, I really didn't like the guy. So yeah, unfortunately, more cancer on the internet is back. Dubai had one job and they failed completely they sold the bag and you know i, I don't really want to be this guy and honestly i'm not because other people have said this before but nobody really likes Neon, dude. <laughs> like, most of his friends left him. The reason why he has a small group of friends, as he says, is because of that very reason, because nobody fucks with him. He's stuck simping over an OnlyFans girl that gets mad whenever you show her her stuff in public, which, I mean, by the way, if you're bold enough to make corn videos and someone shows you your work in public, I mean, why get mad over that? Really doesn't make sense to me. But yeah, I genuinely don't know why this guy doesn't retire at this point. That's gonna be it for me today, guys. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, hit that like button. If you want more content similar to this, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one. Sub up, stay safe, and peace.